Okay, so I call this the divorce room. So I am going to sage this room. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I promise to show you, listen, it's just me trying to put this house together now. So things are like sort of done, but they're not done. Basically, I'm gonna give you an upstairs of the house tour, which is both kids' rooms, and then we're gonna do like a little mini saging ritual for one of the rooms because it needs it. Okay, so done crying today. Um, okay, so this is the upstairs playroom. So right when you walk off the stairs, this is the playroom. My mom actually painted these. Isn't that cool? My mom is so talented. You know, I'm trying to stay organized. <laughs> I'm telling you, you know, you, you're looking at this right now thinking, that's pretty clean. It doesn't actually look like this. I picked it up for you guys. We got a TV up here, um, a bookshelf. Books are like our thing. We love books. If you ever want to make Charlie happy, not that you'll be with him, but if you were to be with Charlie, read him a book. Okay, so this is Bella's room. It actually was painted before, and there was wallpaper before, uh, which you can tell I need to paint over this, but this is so cute. But like, these are the people's hands that live here before us. Um, okay, so this is the bunk bed that we bought. I actually, I think I got this on Amazon. I would not suggest this bed. So I did a million things wrong with this bed. So I ended up buying like 12 inch mattresses because I was like, those are gonna be so comfortable. But first off, this slide's super dangerous. Like it's, it's really slick. It's literally just a piece, just don't buy this. <laughs> um, it's really fast. It's like at a weird angle. And then when you like jump off, you're not even like on the same level as the slide. But I bought a mattress that went up to like here. So then trying to get, it was bad. So I bought five inch mattresses instead. Also the 12 inch mattress went up to like here. So Bella only had like this much room. And honestly, I swear, this is like for toddlers or something, which I mean she is, but there's no way like a human could like grow into this. But it's cute. She loves it. She obviously, Sleeps on the bottom. Oh my God, you guys, New Year's night. Bella's sleeping in my room. And we have these, I don't know if you guys have seen these, but there's these like bumpers that, they're kind of like bumpers that you use at a bowling alley. They're supposed to keep kids from falling off. And she's such a crazy sleeper. She fell completely off the bed at like 3.30 in the morning and it was horrible. And now she has like a bruise on top of her head. And I felt like, oh God, 2020, you cannot be doing this to me, but. It did that to me. Okay, so this is what she got for Christmas. Her bedding's from Target. But originally I wanted to like repaint this whole thing and she loves pink and I wanted to repaint it and do all these things, but you know what, I just didn't. Then here's the bathroom. You know what's funny is right now, Charlie's actually sleeping downstairs in a pack and play because I'm trying to get him to sleep through the night, but um, does anybody else this? <laughs> Sometimes when I take a bath in here, I just take a bath with the Barbies. I'm like, screw it, man. I'm just gonna take a bath with the Barbies. So that's that. I think I was in the middle of the story, but I don't remember what I was talking about. Okay, let's get at the sage. I don't know how to sage, but this is where my mom sleeps when she comes over. Oh, I was saying Charlie sleeps downstairs. I'm trying to get him to sleep through the night. Right now, if he sleeps in here, he wakes up Bella and it's like a whole production. So when he really is sleeping through the night, I'm actually gonna move him up here, but I got a rug. Just like my the first step is actually Bella's old crib, which I actually love this crib, but I haven't really done anything as you can see. I call this the divorce room. That's why I'm saging. We're in the divorce room and I'm trying to make new memories here because it's 2021. So I'm gonna open this window. Okay, so I call this the divorce room because I just where Evan told me we wanted a divorce. So he was sitting right where I'm sitting. So I am going to sage this room so that every time I walk in, I don't feel that like energy. Um, also, there's been weird stuff going on about like people asking me when, when we separated. We separated the day after Thanksgiving. We've been going to therapy for like years. And then, you know what's weird about this house is we actually put three offers on houses in 2020 and every single offer fell through, which was really sad. The last house, you guys, oh, it's like my dream home. They had like three closets in the master bedroom and a pool and it was like just so amazing. And every offer kept falling through because there kept being something wrong with the house. The last one fell through. There was like this horrible foundation problem in the basement and we were gonna tr turn one of those rooms in the boys' room and we were just like, can't. Foundation issues are like horrible. It was like at the bottom of the hill. So like all the water was 
Anyway, and that was in like October. And then I found this house and Evan told me to buy this house. So I did. And then <laughs> uh, he told me he didn't want to live in it. So here we are. It's a new year. Um, we've tried, we tried y'all for a really long time to make it work. Like I said, we went to therapy. I mean, God, you can listen to mommy's doll and know that I, we went to therapy. We focused a lot more on the kids than we focused on ourselves. And, um, and ultimately I think that was probably our biggest downfall was that the kids kind of came to the top of the pyramid and we never put ourselves at the top. And you know, if you like don't have a foundation for yourself, then you crumble. And so the last two years have just been really hard and we've been trying to figure it out and trying and trying and trying. And then I always told him that if he wanted out, then it was his call. Cause I just don't, I just am like a person that would just like never be out. So what are you gonna do? You know, like somebody don't wanna be with you, they don't wanna be with you and you sage. So that's what we're doing. I don't even know how to sage, but I heard that it works. I know that you light it and then you, probably a fire hazard and then you blow it and then you say like positive vibes <laughs> how crazy do I look right now listen um positive vibes love and good things for 2021 good things for this room love in this room Charlie's memories of positivity in this room. <laughs> I feel kind of crazy. Uh, so anyway, that's where I'm at. Saging. Just this room and, and this space right here. Sage the space. Make space for new memories of happiness. I'm just gonna see if it works. I guess we're still going. Just gonna see if it works. Okay, well I love you guys. And I think that 2021, does this ever go out? I think that 2021 is gonna be um, just great. And I'm focusing on the future. And this is the last time uh, I really wanna talk about any of this. Because I don't wanna be sad anymore. I wanna be happy. Because I deserve it, right? And you deserve it too. So wherever you're feeling bad in your house, go get some of this. I'm going to sage myself. I'm going to sage you guys. If you need, if you need some better vibes. <laughs> okay, guys, I love you. I'm going to be crazy in 2021, and that's going to be great. And I love you, and thanks for watching. Bye.